starting by preparing for the zip. So I've added some iron-on interfacing to the facing and to the back seam of the dress where the zip is going to be. I'll get my zip now and I'm going to put the top of the zip to the top collar and I'm getting some tailor's chalk and I'm marking the bottom of the zip. And now with a ruler I'm measuring in two centimetres and I'm going to draw a line um, two centimetres in. I'm going to sew that on the machine and then I'm going to take it to the iron. So I've ironed my back seam and I'm going to iron the opening for the zip back also two centimetres. So the back seam basically has got a two centimetre seam allowance. Okay, so now I'm going to take that to the table and I'm going to um, pin my zip just in place to start with. Okay, so I'm going to line up the teeth on the left side of the zip to the left side of the dress and just put a few pins in to keep it in place. All the way down, just going to pin through one layer of fabric. Okay. About three pins in the zip will do. And when I've done that, I'm going to take it to the machine and sew that in place. So now I've got the left hand side of the zip on the machine and I'm just using a normal foot to just put the zip in place and if you can see where the teeth of the zip are just lined up against that crease. Okay so you've got a nice guide to go by. Now you can't get past that zipper so what I'm going to do is put my foot, put my needle down, lift my foot up and just slide that zipper past it and I'm just going to make sure when I carry on sewing that the teeth are up against the crease. I'm going to sew that down and do a little back tap. Now the next step is to prepare for the other, the right hand side of the zip which is the lapped zip. So if you can see I'm leaving um, a little space between the the crease and the teeth of the zip and this is going to form the lap so I'm just pinning that in place and I'm just going to pull my zipper up turn it over and make sure that when the zip's up those two pieces come together nice and neatly now I've taken this to the machine with the zip actually um, zipped up so luckily I've put lots of pins in and that's um, and if you've overlocked your seam, you'll find that this zip just comes up to your overlocking and that's a good little guide to let you know you've got everything in the right place. Okay, so just when I get to the top, I'm taking that zipper out the way again by lifting my foot, but keeping my needle down to keep everything in place. Okay, so now when I turn that over, uh, you'll see that that's hidden the zip, that's the lap. The next step now is to put the facing in place. So I'm going to put my left hand facing in place first. Just put a pin in it. Um, put the two edges together and pin it. But make sure when you put the pin in, that you're actually pinning through the zip as well. So now what I'm going to do is fold that facing back on itself. And it's important to remember that the crease that you pressed, you need to fold that, that point of that crease, you need to fold that back on itself. Put a few pins in to keep your uh, facing in place. And then you're going to sew a one centimetre seam allowance. Okay, back to the end, a little back tack. And put your th fold that over, put your thumb in and turn that over. And if you've turned that back on the right spot, which should have been the crease, you'll see that's where the facing is on the crease. Okay, now I'm putting the right hand side of the facing in. I'm going to do exactly the same as the left hand side. Put a pin in. And uh, just before you sew that, it's a good thing. Put your zip up and just make sure that those facings are actually meeting in the right place. Yeah, 
that looks good. Okay, take the zip down again and I'm going to sew that in place. Making sure that I go over the zip as well. zip down and now do you see that crease so this is going to be this crease is a little bit further back so so I know where it is I'm just going to put a pin in it just to show you what I'm doing basically and fold that back on itself okay so that's where you're going to start sewing I'll take my pin out now and put it over that side Obviously, this is just a demonstration. Um, if you were doing a facing, you'd, you wouldn't sew right to the end because you'd need to sew that bit of facing to the other bit of facing on the front. So this is just a demonstration dress. Okay, so one centimetre seam allowance as well. Now I'm gonna fill that back, put my thumb inside and just push it in and you will see now that we've got there's our little lap that lap by the way is what hides the zip and it's just as well in this dress because it's a very dark green zip so I don't want that on show I'm going to give that a little line now just make sure everything's nice and flat face the eye um, and the face in and that's ready now for top stitching so in preparation for top stitching, I'm just going to put a few pins where we're going to do our top stitching on the left hand side of the zip first. Um, just, just to make sure that fold is folding over in the right place. Okay, that's where I'm going to top stitch the left hand side. And now I'm going to turn the dress over and put some pins on the right hand side which probably will just run right on the edge of your uh, zip. So now you can see here that I've taken it to the machine and I'm running the lap on the right-hand side of the zip along the magnet, which basically will just give me a really sort of straight edge. So I'm doing the top stitching from the inside of the dress on the right-hand side of the, of the uh, zip. Okay, so I have to, I have to see that's... Um, I'm out of the way now and I'm just going to carry on just by sewing down to about an inch before the bottom. Now I'm doing the left hand side of the zip and I'm using a zipper foot. This is the only part of the zip I use a, a zipper foot for actually. So I'm sewing on the right hand side of the dress and I'm just going to keep that stitching as close to the zip as possible without going over the plastic teeth. Um, I'm just going to carry on to the bottom and get that zip out the way as well. Pull it up. So just take your time and just try and get as close to the zip as possible. So the last thing to do now is just do that little uh, corner at the bottom. Remember when we did the right hand side of the zip, we never went right down to the bottom of it, just as far as we could go. So I've just actually... I don't know if you can see, I've put some tailor's chalk in there and I've just marked the zip at the bottom just so we can get it nice and straight, nice and square. And I'm just going to carry on to that row of stitching and just do a tiny little back tack. Obviously I'm using dark cotton um, just so you can see what I'm doing. But um, if you were using a cotton that was the same colour as this green, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see that as much. Well, that looks pretty neat. Okay, so there's our finished lap zip on the model, looking pretty good.